Hello everyone. Good morning. Dear students, in the previous class, you all learned about name of the months and name of the days. And also you all learned about leap year. Leap year means in, the, in that year, February month, 29 days are there. Yes or no? So, in the leap year, how do you find that the given year is a leap year? If any year is there, how do you know that one? If it is leap year or not? Because already we know once four, after 4 year it will come. Once in after 4 year. Okay. So dear students, now see 2012 and 2016. So here in the 2012 leap year is there. Again 2016 leap year is there. How do we know about if it is there or not? That one we should consider we should consider last two digit in that year. Here 12 and here 16. If it is if these two numbers are divided by 4 equally if the remainder is 0, if the remainder is, if the remainder is 0, then we call it as, this one is leap year. 12 is divided by 4, it is totally, the remainder is 0. And, and also 16, we divide it by the 4, the answer is 0. Remainder is 0. So that's why. That is 2012 and 2016, we call it as leap year. Because in the year last two digits, we should consider these two are completely divided with the digit 4. So there is no reminder. So another number. 1904 is there. In this year, it is leap year. Yes, we should now check in this one. See, take last two digit. One is 0, another one is 4. This one completely divided by the digit 4, number 4. That time the reminder is 0. Because of that reason, to 1904 is also a leap year. Like that, 1908 and 2000, 2002. So, these all are considered as leap year. 2018, 2008, sorry, 2008, 2012, and 2016. We consider these all our leap years. Okay dear students, now you will understand what is the leap year. In that, in that year, February month contains, February month contains 29 days. How many days? 29 days. Now, see the remember part. One week is equal to how many days? Seven days. One week is equal to seven days. And the second part, second point, one month is equal to 30 or 31 days. One month equal to 30 or 31 days. And third point, 12 month is equal to 1 year. 12 month is equal to 12 month equals to 1 year. 1 year equal to 1 year equal to 52 weeks. 1 year equal to 52 Weeks. In the month of February, 
in the month of february in the month of february 28 days are there means 365 days in a year in the month of february 28 days are there is equal to in the year 365 days if in the month of february 29 days means 366 days in a year 366 days in a year this one we call it as if the year contains 366 it means leap year what is that leap sorry what is that leap year that one we call it as leap year now remember students one week means how many days seven days one month equal to 30 or 31 days 12 month 12 months means one year 12 months means one year one year means 52 weeks in the month of february 28 days are there it means the year 365 days in the month of february 29 days means 366 day that one we call it as leap year now we will discuss about the exercise part all of you open page number 77 all of you open page number 77 okay that is exercise part exercise part in the page number 77 is there 14 point 1 what is the first question they given if if 365 days if 365 days are they are they in a year are they in a year which is not which is not a leap year which is not a leap year which is not leap year how many days how many how many days are they are they in a leap year in a leap year so serious students if 365 365 days are they in a year which is not a leap year how many days are they in a leap year how many days are there in a leap year 366 so in the blank line you should write 366 days the answer for this question is 366 days write in your textbook page number 77 Now see the second question. Examine whether the following years are leap year or not. Here they given some years to you. You should check whether they are leap year or not. Already we know we consider only last two digit. If it is divide completely means that is leap year. There is no reminder means that is leap year. So zero it is there s. That one is leap year. Right s. And second one is zero three. These two digits are not divided completely divided by four. That's why the given year is not a leap year. 
The third one is seventy two. The giver these two four ones are four. The three remains thirty two. Four eights are thirty two. See, I will do here. Seventy two is the four ones are four means three remains.
days. Answer is 365 days. The next question is How many years once in can the birthday be celebrated for those who are born on the February 29th day in the leap year? Means leap year comes once in a four, four years. Yes or no? So the answer is What is the answer for that? They are asking how many years once in can the birthday be celebrated for those who are born on the February 29th date in the leap year. So they celebrate they celebrate their birthday the birthday once in a four years once in once in four year four years so this is the answer for this question they celebrate their birthday once in four years Dear students, next point is calculation of time. In the previous class, you all learned about this one. How to tell the time. And big needle and small needle, about you all know that one. Here they given some questions to you for recalling purpose in the page number 78. So, now we will solve one by one. The first See, they given some questions to you. Observe the figures of a clock. See, what they given? The first question is, how many? The first question is, how many equal parts are there? Equal parts are they in the die in the in the die of a clock of a clock so how many equal parts are they in the die of a clock there are how many equal parts are there? There are answer is there are equal one to twelve one to twelve numbers numbers are they so 1 to 12 equal parts of the first understand the question how many equal parts are they in the time of a clock they are equal 1 to 12 numbers are they now what is the second question the second question is what does the question is what does the bigger needle the bigger the bigger needle in a clock in a clock indicate in a clock indicate what they are asking here what does the picker needle in a clock indicate 
What does that indicate? The bigger reader indicate meaning. What is that? Meanings. The bigger reader indicate meaning. Now, the third question. What does what does the what does the smaller needle smaller needle in a clock in a clock indicate so here they are asking what the smaller needle indicate that is our answer is smaller needle indicates hour now the fourth question what is the fourth question how many how many minutes from minutes from
thirty, thirty five, forty, and forty five. It means four forty five. Time is four forty five. Write these three in a book textbook. See here, they give us time for us to write the big needle and small needle. See. Two two o'clock twenty minutes. It means the small needle equal to two o'clock. The small needle equal to two o'clock. Twenty minutes means year to year five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Twenty means four o'clock. That is four. The big needle equal to four. See the second in the second picture. What they give us? Three o'clock, fifteen minutes. Three o'clock means equal to three, fifteen minutes. Here to here five, ten, fifteen means that is also equal to three. So the big needle, small needle. Overlap one and one. Okay. Next, in the third diagram, what they give us? Seven o'clock, thirty-five minutes. The small needle equal to seven o'clock, thirty-five minutes. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five. That is. Equal to seven. Wait. This is little bit here, and this one the small needle and big needle. Seven thirty-five means the small needle comes in between seven and eight. Already half an hour over means it comes in between seven and eight. The big needle exactly equal to seven. This is two o'clock twenty minutes and three o'clock fifteen minutes and seven o'clock thirty five. Okay, this is calculation about time. So, dear students, now you recall what you studied in your previous class. In the next class, we will discuss about the lesson that is time and whatever the remaining portion is there. See in the next class. Thank you. Have a good day.